Ladies and gentlemen, as global population rises and living standards improve, the demand for energy continues to grow. All nations want access to secure, affordable and sustainable sources of energy. And although abundant, technically recoverable resources are available to meet this growing demand, the reality is that today's global energy systems are incredibly inefficient. Remarkably, only 12% of the energy captured at its source ends up as useful heat, light and motion. So there's a very big prize to be had from improved efficiency. It helps with affordability because less energy is needed. It helps with security because it reduces dependence on imports. And it helps with sustainability because it reduces emissions. Innovation can play a vital role in improving technology design, process and use of materials. And it's one reason why our upstream business is working to maximise reservoir potential from existing resources. Using existing infrastructures with the help of new technologies. 20 years ago, BP scientists asked themselves this question. At a time when the world needs a lot more energy, why is the average oil recovery factor so low? Although world recovery rates vary significantly, the industry average is only 35%. So 65% of the oil is left behind. For a giant or supergiant field, this could be the equivalent to leaving hundreds of millions of barrels still in the ground. And the recovery factor equation explains why. Multiplying four fractions together, or less than one, results in a small number. For example, 60% displacement times 70% sweep times 90% drainage times 90% cutoff gives an industry average of 34%. Now this led us to take a closer look at what was happening at the molecular level. And we found something highly significant. We did. Maximising oil recovery isn't just a physical process, it's also a chemical process. The variations within the porous rock, the large contact surfaces and the differences between oil and water all make achieving high recovery rates very challenging. And the focus for our enhanced oil recovery programme, how do we displace more oil from rocks at the pore scale and improve reservoir sweep? Today, BP leads the industry with a broad range of breakthrough EOR technologies to maximise recovery, trialled and deployed in the field, whatever the conditions. At our giant Prudhoe Bay oil field in Alaska, we're on track to achieve a field recovery rate of 60% thanks to our distinctive designer water EOR and designer gas EOR technologies. It's also our designer gas EOR programme includes injection of over 15 million tonnes of CO2 every year as part of the admissible gas injection trapping it deep in the reservoir while pushing out a lot more oil. And at Clare Ridge in the North Sea, deploying our groundbreaking low cell EOR technologies from day one is set to deliver an extra 42 million barrels of production over field life. That's 42 million. At BP, it's about developing technology to help drive sustainability and deliver lower carbon solutions over time. Operating the world's largest carbon capture and storage demonstration project at a gas plant in Algeria. And injecting a storage of almost 4 million tonnes deep in the reservoir. Instead of releasing it out into the atmosphere. But of course, time and time again, technologies like these have been proven to deliver most value when they're considered as part of an integrated solution. Not only in terms of reservoir development, but facilities too, maximising oil recovery safely and sustainably over the long term. While minimising greenhouse gas emissions. Here in Abu Dhabi, for example, the challenge is to sustainably maintain oil production 
while meeting the projected target of 70% recovery factor and managing natural resources for the long term. And the innovative BP funded Foresear modelling tool shows us how. Identifying and prioritising the time dependent trade offs between gas and scarce water resources for power generation and their use in enhanced oil recovery. Stress testing connections between energy, water and land utilisation and their effects on CO2 emissions. Making predictions on water requirements and greenhouse gas emissions given EOR development options and using this to reverse engineer the supply chain. while seeing the bigger picture of natural resources. Our approach is to work with many technology partners and to apply the right technologies in new surroundings and to solve more challenges. And of course, our top priority is always to operate safely and responsibly. Bringing together leading capabilities in digital, big data, nano, bioscience and robotics as well as advanced materials, computational modelling, energy storage and many other disciplines. Developing a thriving innovation ecosystem of scientists and technologists at our research centres around the world. Working alongside a strong venturing business, making strategic investments in entrepreneurial companies to accelerate the development of promising new technologies. As well as a network of world-class university partners pioneering a wide range of research and development. Together we can ensure that more countries maximize the value of their natural resources for the benefit of their citizens and businesses. And together we will meet the world's energy needs, pioneering new generations of equipment, new ways of thinking and new ways of working. So you see there's really only one way to improve energy efficiency and sustainability. Technology plus innovation plus partnership With BP, it all adds up. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for listening.